Today we are looking at how to adjust your Callaway Maverick Max driver. Now, if you have one of these, you're already holding one of the most forgiving drivers in the Maverick family. And as the name suggests, it is maxed out for distance and forgiveness and has a big anti-slice or draw bias, even in a neutral setting, which is very reassuring for players who need a little help with consistency or struggle with an annoying slice. You've got Callaway's upgraded and lighter titanium flash face, you've got the bracing and stabilizing effect in the strike of the jailbreak bars and very light T2C triaxial carbon crown, all of which make this a super driver even before we get to adjusting. Now looking at the underside of the head of this big 460cc Maverick Max driver, you will see that there are two weight ports, one in the back here and one tucked right into the heel with two interchangeable weights. One is heavy at 14 grams and one is light at 2 grams. So let's go ahead and have a play with these, shall we? Now, your driver will come with a wrench like this and to open or loosen any screw in the driver, you simply place the wrench into the top of the screw and you turn it anti-clockwise to open. To tighten the screw, you would turn it clockwise. Now these screws, when fully tightened, to make an audible click sound like that to let you know the sleeve is safely locked in place and to avoid over tightening. Now if we leave the 14 gram weight in the back and the two gram weight in the heel, this will maximize the forgiveness and stability and distance of this Maverick Max driver. Now if we switched the weights and moved the heavy 14 gram weight to the heel here, we are really setting up this driver to have a big draw bias. So if you suffer from a slice, this setting will most likely reduce or even correct it with the heavy weight wanting to shut down the face of the driver in the strike. Now, as well as those back and heel weights, you've got lots of loft and lie adjustability via the OptiFit hosel, which will influence shot shape. So let's have a look at how we can do that. Now, before we open the driver, let's look at the markings on the hosel here. You'll see this is a 10.5 degree hosel. Below the number 10.5, there's a little hyphen, little hyphen line here, and at the very bottom, there's another little hyphen line. In between these two hyphens, you have a top and a bottom cog with letters and numbers. Now, the factory default setting is S for stated lock on the lower cog, in this case 10.5 degrees, and N for neutral on the upper cog. The golden rule, really, when adjusting the OptiFit hosel is to have these two little hyphen lines lined up at all times. So let's go ahead and open the shaft screw. Here, turning it anti-clockwise, I usually hold it in between my thumb and forefinger. A couple of twists should fully open the head, and then it can be easily removed from the shaft. There it goes. Now you'll notice top and bottom cogs can turn independently of each other. These indicate some of the different loft and lie options you can choose. You can add up to two degrees of loft and go one degree lower. And then for each loft, you can choose an N for neutral and a D for draw setting. The key really to setting up the OptiFit hosel is to focus on finding your desired loft first. It's quite strange but part of its ingenuity that S for stated loft and plus one degrees are on the bottom cog and minus one degrees and plus two degrees are marked on the top cog. So let's say I want to hit this driver a little higher and bring up the spin a little. If I want to add one degree of loft, I would go to the lower cog and I would line up the little plus one with a little hyphen, holding that in place with my fingers. I can now turn the top cog, it's like a little jigsaw really, I now see that I have two options that fit, N for neutral and D for draw. So if I choose the draw option, I line up this D and reattach the head, ensuring my settings are lined up again between the hyphens. If I wanted, for instance, to flight the ball a little lower and reduce spin, I can lower the loft by one degree first. I would spin the top cog until minus one lines up with the hyphen, then spin the bottom cog to choose neutral or draw again. They fit together just like a jigsaw 
and you can pop the hem back on, making sure again that the lines match up and then you can tighten. Again, the key to the OptiFit hosel is to choose your loft first. So that is how to adjust your Maverick Max driver and it's worth a while having a play really with the different settings on the range to dial in the one that suits you best. With the back and heel weighting you can really impart a draw and with the OptiFit hosel you have the ability there's the click to fine tune what is already a premium piece of engineering to the right setting for you. And it's very important to remember that you can adjust your driver anytime on the range or before or after your round, but just not during your round. Now, we also have videos on how to adjust the other drivers in the Maverick family, namely the standard Maverick and the Maverick Sub-Zero, so watch out for them too. And if you enjoy this video, please do press like and subscribe to the Golf Bitter YouTube channel. And of course, follow us every day across Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to stay up to date with the very latest. For me, Fernando, it's Donald, out.